Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And uh, first off, not a lot of news coming out of GDC that isn't, but do stay tuned. I am monitoring. If anyone starts to release some products, hey, I will cover it. But the reality is, I don't think I would launch a product this week, would you? But if you are looking for something to do, especially if you are in lockdown, stuck home, and perhaps you have kids and you want to teach them programming, there is a new Humble Bundle that might be of interest. But also, don't let this, the fact that this one is aimed towards kids to turn you off. If you're a beginner, there's some very valid things here. So what we're looking at is the Coding Starter Kit by No Starch Press. No Starch Press traditionally makes some pretty good um, books, to be honest. I, I've never really come across anything from them that really rubbed me wrong. I, I would generally recommend what I have read from them. And this one is, again, the Coding Starter Set, uh, Ready, Set, Code, Designed for Kids. This bundle of eBooks is the perfect step for anyone looking to jump into the world of coding. And yeah, you're going to get some very kid-focused stuff here. But again, you might be at home for the next two or three weeks with your kids like I am and uh, looking for some projects. So this might actually be the perfect bundle for the perfect time. And I know for a lot of you, uh, it was nice talking to you. See you all later because I know this bundle isn't for everyone. But again, if it's game development related and it's a humble, I generally talk about it on this channel. And there's enough game development stuff stuff in here that it definitely made it worthwhile. Now, if you don't know how Humble works, basically there's a collection of stuff, in this case, eBooks built around a common theme, in this case, learning programming and a little bit about game programming. Uh, and you can decide how your money is allocated. You buy it in different tiers. The higher dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it. If you buy it through my link, and thank you very much if you do, you can help support Game From Scratch. All right, so here we are looking at the $1 tier. As you say, it's, uh, unfortunately, it's showing the Canadian currency values, but that's basically $1 US. And the books you get there for $1 are... Lorem Upsum, um, a story about computer science and other improbable things. The official Scratch Junior book. Scratch Junior, we'll get into Scratch in a little bit, but Scratch Junior is aimed at kids from five to seven years old. And then we got here um, 25 Scratch 3 games for kids, a playful guide to coding. Uh, then we have basically a comic guide to HTML, CSS, and WordPress creation. Make your own Scratch games, and then Super Scratch Programming Adventure. All right, so that rounds out. So you get a lot of Scratch representation in here. That's why I'm going to show you it in just a few seconds. So that's at your $1 tier. And for a lot of people, if you want to get your kids started in game programming, I actually did a guide on it. I'll link that as well below for basically... Uh, how to get your kids started in game development. For younger kids, it actually is Scratch that I recommend as one of the recommendations, but I'll link that suggestion down below. All right, so we're going to jump up to the $10.50 Canadian tier, which I'm guessing is $8, somewhere in that range. And here we got a beginner's guide to circuits, learn robotics with Raspberry Pi, uh, micro bit for uh, micro bit for mad scientists. I actually don't know what micro bit is. I'm going to have to look that up after the fact. Uh, JavaScript for kids, a playful introduction to programming, and electronics for kids, play with simple circuits experiments with electricity. And then we're going to jump up to the $20 Canadian, or I believe $15 US range. Here you get coding with Minecraft, uh, Python for kids, doing math with Python, which ironically would be useful to anybody, not just kids. Uh, this one has actually been in pre previous Humble Bundle. So if you bought something from No Starch Press in the past, do check your library to make sure you haven't already got that one. Invent your own computer games with Python. Once again, this one is not kid-specific. It is the fourth edition, so it is the most current edition. And then we've got uh, Mission Python, uh, Code of Space Adventure Game. So a lot of the stuff here is very much aimed at game development. And this last tier, the $15 tier, is a little bit less kid-focused and more kind of advanced in scope. Now, obviously, it's part of this bundle. That one, obviously, is very much for kids. Uh, but if you're looking to get started in game development, you know, don't let the kid part turn you off. Now, you're going to find Scratch Jr. way, way, way below you. But the rest of this stuff, there's actually some value in it as a way to learn game programming. Regardless to how old you are, um, it's just if you've got some experience, a lot of this will be pretty useless to you, except for maybe these three books right here and perhaps some Minecraft stuff. All right, so that is the bundle. Uh, as always, I buy these bundles so they can let you know what you're going to get. In this particular case, you can see that every single book here is available in PDF, EPUB, and Mobi format. So regardless to what kind of a reader or device you use to read these, you should be able to get it running. Uh, you can see we've got uh, pretty much yeah, every single book is in every single format. There's no uh, supplemental materials here at all. So um, that's it. There's no extra downloads or anything else. You just get every single book in three different formats. Now, it's kind of amazing how large a couple of these books are. Uh, but again, they're very much uh, visual-oriented, uh, nice, friendly introductions to the topic. And then now I'll go back a little bit to the Scratch thing. Now, Scratch was invented by MIT. It is designed as a way of teaching people how to program using um 
uh, basically a visual system. So you've got a, like a basic game engine. You can put scenes together and so on. And then your logic itself is controlled using motion blocks or bricks. It's kind of like a Lego style. So if something fits in there, it's the right thing. If it doesn't, it isn't. So you see here, we've got variables like position. You can drop it into. So change X by, and then you can drop in X position into that space. There are something like 100. No, so there's 119 blocks in Scratch 3, and then there's extensions on top of that. So this is how you basically program your game. Now, you're going to see a lot of things here are designed around 2D side-scrolling style games. So here, switching your backdrops out or switching your costumes or whatever. And it is a good way to get an introduction to programming. And it doesn't look like coding, but you really, you are learning things like um, do while loops, broadcasting, sending messages, using controls. So you see here, you got wait loops, you got forever and if conditions and so on. And that is all stuff, if you're not familiar with programming, that you do in all kinds of programming language. Even if you're writing code out in a code editor, you're ultimately doing the same things and you're learning the same principles. So if you start this way, don't worry. Even if you're moving to like a, a text-based programming language after the fact, the process is pretty similar in the end. So um, this is, again, the way that you program out of the box for Scratch. And it is focused towards creating 2D side-scrolling games. And we've also even got some Lego Boost stuff if you happen to be programming for Lego. Um, so Scratch is an interesting project and you've actually, you've probably, if you've used other tools out there like um, Construct or GDevelop and, um, you know, a couple of other visual programming languages, this is a very, very, very common system and it, it very much came from Scratch. So a lot of the visual programming languages out there are basically adopting the Scratch approach to things. So that's about it. As I mentioned earlier on, I do have this guide up for basically if you are a parent and you want to get your kids started in game development and some of the rec uh, recommendations I made. Now, it's been a while. This is back, wow, that's six years ago I wrote this. Uh, but most of it is still actually still pretty accurate. So you come in here. Uh, this is Construct, the way that Construct works and, and the way you build things together. Uh, that was Love or Lua. When you kind of keep going, you're going to see, again, Scratch was one of the things I recommended. And here you can see Scratch in action. Um, you can run it entirely in your browser. But you're building these blocks together. But over here, you've got your, your scene graph, the way you bring things in. You can put sprites and dogs that you can create. It comes loaded with sprites to start with. So it is a nice way to teach uh, game programming. You know, even if, in all honesty, if you're not a kid, Scratch is still a valid way to learn it. And you can, you can do some pretty cool stuff in a very short period of time. Uh, and then you've got Construct 2, as I mentioned earlier on. It starts, it's, you know, kind of a similar approach looking there. Um, what else did I cover? Game Maker. Unfortunately, that one has a price tag attached. And I don't think I do Game Maker for young kids. Uh, Lua and Love, if you're interested, I actually did a tutorial series on that one. And then Python is another option. Again, Python with Pygame is a good selection. And uh, then we got Stencil. And if we go Stencil, Stencil's programming language... Here you see, there's coding in Stencil. Now you might find that Stencil looks a heck of a lot like Scratch. And yeah, yeah, that's that's very much where the inspiration came from. So if you are interested in learning or teaching your kids how to program, you know, you're, you're aiming more towards, say, 12 and under or 14 and under, uh, I will link this guide down below as well. So if you're looking in something to do while well, we have our extended home breaks going on right now, uh, check that out. And uh, hopefully this is interesting to uh, some of you. And once again, if you're a more experienced programmer, there's really nothing here for you unless you want to tutor someone else. But if you are looking at just getting started or you're looking at teaching a young one, there's some pretty nice stuff in this bundle. So, um, and every book there basically boils down to about the cost of one book. So if you see a single book in this bundle, it, it's easily worth it. If you want to teach a kid, you know, that $1 range, probably worth it at that level as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.